This discussion is being recorded by the Atlanta Forum Network and will be available online at www.atlantaforumnetwork.org. The objectives of the Theosophical Society are one, to form a nucleus of the universal brotherhood of humanity without distinction of race, creed, sex, or ethnicity. Two, to encourage the study of comparative religion, philosophy, science, and the arts. And three, to investigate unexplained laws of nature and powers latent in man. Let's take a moment and listen to this benediction. A clean life, an open mind, a pure heart, an eager intellect, an unveiled spiritual perception, a brotherliness for all, a readiness to give and receive advice and instruction, a courageous endurance of personal injustice, a brave declaration of principles, a valiant defense of those who are unjustly attacked, and a constant eye to the ideal of human progression and perfection which the sacred science depicts. These are the golden stairs up the steps of which the learner may climb to the temple of divine wisdom. And that's a quote from H.P. Blavatsky. Our guest speaker today is Dr. Uh, Li Hua. She's going to give us a discussion on Shen, the spirit force in traditional Chinese medicine. Dr. Hua is a traditional Chinese medicine doctor trained in China. She uses acupuncture, body work, and her knowledge of oriental herbal remedies to help her patients here in Atlanta. She will give us some insight on traditional Chinese medicine and how it works with our higher spiritual aspects known as Shen in order to bring about health. Please give a warm welcome to Dr. Li Hua. Do you need this on? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate it uh, Give me a chance to talk in uh, something, uh, to share some information with everybody. Uh, I come from mainland China. I was trained in China. And uh, I moved here because of Chinese medicine. And uh, I am licensed acupuncturist in Georgia. And I have served on, China, uh, on medical board for m many years. And uh, work with my colleague and together try to uh, change the law in Georgia. Before 2000 uh, years, and in Georgia, only MD doctor uh, allowed to be licensed to practicing acupuncture. And uh, since the law changed, so a lot of people qualified and uh, get licensed and practicing uh, acupuncture in Georgia. Uh, there's uh, so many things I want to talk or share with uh, everybody, but uh, time is limited. So I just uh, pick up uh, some points uh, to share with everybody. And uh, in the end, I give people's time to ask me questions, okay? First, I want to uh, share the information is to tell you how I start to learn Chinese medicine. I was born as a sick baby. Uh, with uh, bronchitis, asthma, and uh, hard breathing. I remember it's a hard breath. And uh, go through a very hard time. And Chinese medicine really saved my life. That's why I learned Chinese medicine. Not only help myself, I want to you know, help other people. So when I moved to here, I f feel here the weather is good and a lot of people need my help. 
also the people is very nice to me. <laughs> so that's I decided I stay here and uh, I bring my husband, my daughter here too. And I practicing here is uh, is uh, over ten years already here. Uh, since I was born with uh, as a sick baby, and uh, so a lot of things make me to think about it. At the beginning, very negative thought, and uh, you know, unhappy. It's a difficult child for my parents and uh, cry all the time, there's no question, not feeling good. <laughs> and the mood never good. And uh, so I, a lot of time I thinking, you know, you know, the, you know what happened to my body? And uh, what just in, influenced my personality, influenced my thought? So these things, when I learning, practicing, still in my mind, always thinking, meditate. So, uh, so I find out it's, you know, the body and the mind together. And uh, usually people see mind, body, spirit. And the spirit is, uh, in Chinese medicine, we call shen. And I think I have the word here, shen. Uh, in English, it's uh, yeah. This word is very interesting. When we made this word, and uh, I have a teacher told me, you see, this is a field, farm, field, farm, you know, the field. And uh, there's uh, tools, people use tools to work on this field, and the uh, the shen boring. And the sh in Chinese medicine, we see how you show the shen, how to show the spirit. In English, they call spirit. How you show the spirit, usually to tell the spirit is from the people's eye. Uh-huh. And from the hair, from the skin, this you can see it. There is something the spirit you couldn't see it. You can feel it. When the people come in, you can feel the spirit. Some spirit is high, some spirit is low. That's you couldn't see it. You can feel it. So this is you know to tell you the shen around us, how you get them, how you you know to receive them. Uh, this, in Chinese medicine, we believe the spirit is very powerful. Uh, like in Chinese history, uh, the first emperor, Qing, uh, the first emperor is the Qing uh, uh, emperor, the Qing dynasty. And I think there's an exhibition uh, a few months ago, they showed that uh, they get from his tomb. He's a very p high spirit person. He have that high spirit. He make the great war is happen in China. That is, uh, you know, not only the Chinese, the you know, culture. That's for the world. That's this kind of treasure, you know. To it's unbelievable. The spirit is very important, very powerful. That's for Chinese history. Also in the world history uh, in Germany, that's uh, Hitler. I know he's not a good sim simple, but uh, you know, his, uh, there's a spirit come up. He made the whole world involved. So the whole world of door opening is to communicate, you know, to, I know at the beginning it's a fight, in the end is how to communicate the world together. So the spirit is very powerful, we believe. And uh, uh, in Chinese medicine, we also uh, find out, uh, is talking about, you know, the spirit is influenced by the body. 
Just so you know, recent year I heard mind, body, spirit. But in thousand thousand years ago, in Chinese medicine, we already believe the mind, body, spirit together. We in the Chinese medicine we talk, you know, how the spirit, the shen spirit, influenced by the body. Um, when the body, the physical body, in the good condition, very healthy, and people have a lot of energy, and you see the person's shen is very high, and uh, he maybe want to do a lot of good things for society, do a lot of good things for the neighborhood, they do a lot of thing, good things for their company. That's the spirit is high. And uh, the person you see have a very good mood. And you will feel very easy to get along with this kind of person. So good health people, you know, can track in a lot of people together. And then a lot of people, you know, like uh, that person and the person feel more good. So that's influenced by the physical body. And uh, we also believe one the physical body not good, not a healthy energy low or suffer with some health problem. And then that's influence the spirit. And uh, think about it like uh, when people not feeling good. I saw a lot of cancer patients. Uh, some people high spirit, you know, feel confidence, want, you know, to be helped by medicine, you know, modern medicine, West medicine, or natural medicine. They believe it, open mind, and uh, thinking positive, and uh, they're getting better quickly. Some, a lot of people, when they are sick, have a cancer, especially have a cancer, they are scared, fearful. They're thinking more, and thinking something not there. And then they influence their spirit you will see their mood not good. Some people frustrated easily. Some people depressed easily. And some people cry easily. So it influence their spirit. You can tell from the hair, and uh, since they have uh, radiation or chemotherapy, their hair loosens, so the hair is not uh, good. And see their skin, since they have a surgery and uh, chemotherapy or radiation, and their skin dry, and then you see their eye. The eye, you can tell not to see the light. They are, you know, you can tell they are feel tired easily. So they are spirit low. So we believe the physical body influence the spirit. They couldn't think anything. They couldn't think how to improve the world better, how to help other people. They only think, okay, fearful. How long I can live? This kind of thing. So influence their spirit. And uh, when the people help by, you know, like I'm not a psychologist. One cancer patient here or other kind of health problem patient, I'm not only see cancer patient. My patient is all different kind. I have a heart doctor refer patient to me. I have a dermatologist doctor refer to me, gynecologist, and, uh, and also pediatrician, and uh, all, all kind of doctor refer people to me, and chiropractic doctor. No matter what kind of problem they have, the people's spirit is low. They are healing very slowly. It's not the doctor not to try to help you. Doctor try, and then the patient is spirit low, and they are healing slowly too. For these years, you know, over 20 years, I work in this field. I find that's influenced. And then there's another thing, when people's spirit low, I feel like a very hard to 
you know, to healing them too. I will spend more energy to healing them. Some people energy high, I feel very easy to help them and then they recover quickly too. So, and uh, this, you know, I want to uh, share with everybody, want, you know, uh, to everybody know, you know, if you need a doctor's help, you need to keep your spirit high, so that can help you healing quickly too. And uh, in the clinic, I have a patient. Uh, he has a very, I remember very quick, uh, very deeply. He has a uh, pancreas cancer. He uh, he came to my office. Uh, is my patient refer him to me, said, you see, doctor, because why? He, after surgery, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't eat, feel nauseous, and eat burping, and uh, the food go up. And uh, I remember very deeply the first time came in, my front desk people tried to talk to him. He not talk. Very hard to feel in the some simple form. And uh, when I first saw him, he is very skinny. He lost a lot of weight. He's white people, you know, yellow people wear yellow, and the black people, you can, uh, you know, you tell the color. He's white, but he's, he looks like a gray color. I feel like a, a lot of dust around him. I feel like he came out from trash can. Only skin and the bone and the... The eye can tell me his spirit is very, very low. And I did, for new patient, I, did, uh, I do consultation. When I talk, asking him question, no answer. Only good thing, knock his head or this head, this way. So I try to uh, get uh, as much information as I can. So I check his tongue and the pulse. And I know he hard to eat food, so I, I decided not to give him herbs, Chinese herbs, no. Only do the acupuncture. So I did acupuncture. First time, after acupuncture, he didn't talk. And then second time, back, talk a little bit. And uh, I can tell his skin, his eyes have some light come out. That's the spirit to come up a little bit. He told me he can eat a little bit, but still not good. So I did a several treatment. And uh, after several treatment later, I said, you gained some weight. He said, yes, Dr. Lee, I gained some weight. He can start talking with me. So his spirit go up. He has some energy. He can talk to me. I remember very clearly this year on May, uh, before uh, May, the end of fourth, uh, April, he said, Dr. Lee, I'll go back to work. I said, why don't you go back to work? May 11th. So I remember very deeply. I feel like, you know, it's, uh, you know, uh, if he not believe me, not to try the acupuncture, keep his spirit high, I hardly help him. So we work together, keep his spirit high, his physical body healing quickly, he back to work. That's, you know, it's amazing, gave me a very deep impression. In the clinic, I have another uh, patient to give me deep impression recently. It's, uh, I, I teach Tai Chi Qigong in my office. I'm not promoting just for my patients uh, healing quickly. I have a patient, she sit on the wheelchair and then to every time she will come on time on wheelchair practicing. And then one day she told me, she said, Dr. Lee, I feel my leg have something tingling things. She said she never have that feeling. That's I said, that's is the energy, get there. And uh, I remember before the class, she asked me, can I join the class I am wheelchair? I said, if you can get to my office, I can. Because the spirit you uh, 
practicing the exercise that even though your body not move, you can move your arm, not move your leg, because she was, uh, she's on the wheelchair. I said, you thinking, you thinking, you move your knee, move your leg, move your toes. She followed my direction, she did it, and then she have something changing on her body. That's, you know, she believe it, had give a faith to, you know, to this exercise. So she have the result. I help a lot. I work with the Emory Infertility Clinic for many years. The connection together because my patients hook us on. <laughs> and uh, one day they call me Emory Infertility Clinic said, uh, can you work together with us to help our patients? And uh, I have a question. I said, how you find me? My English is not very good. I only talk with the patient on out of my office. I do not talk. I save my energy for my patient. I said, how you hear about me? They said, your patient give us name and the phone number and also say uh, very highly about you. I said, I would be glad to work and help people. I only have one child. I love children. And uh, I, one thing, I have no time. I give all my time to my patient. So I love children. So I, I love to help other people who want to have a baby to help them make their dream to true. So I, you know, tell them, yes, okay, I'll working with you. I talk with the doctor, you know, the shared information with the doctors and uh, work together with the West Medicine. Not, you know, I do my thing, they do their thing. No, we share together. For these years, we help a lot of people get their baby, make their dream become truth. One lady is, uh, is uh, uh, she's a nurse and uh, Emory refer her to me, said, uh, Dr. Lee, you help her. We hardly help. And the, I, I asked the patient, what happened to you and why you couldn't help? They check all the blood tests, everything test. And the, the scientists, you know, know, the result tell her only 4% chance to get pregnant. That means no way, hard to get pregnant. So I said, uh, even though I'm not a spiritual person, not a uh, psychologist, counselor, I said, uh, how about this way we will forget the baby? Just make, uh, you know, the emotional stress go away. You know, very emotional. When people want to have a children, no children, it's very emotional. We just work on the emotional stress. Forget the baby. We talk a baby later. So we work on the... Uh, you know, the emotional stress. Also, I help her to get the body balance. The body balance is very important and to for have a baby. And uh, after several months, she went to uh, the Emory again. She get the test because her period is late. She tests that she's a positive get pregnant. She not believe it, she's a, even though she's a nurse. So she went back to Emory, and the Emory doctor said, you are a nurse, you should know, you get pregnant. They check her blood, everything again, it's a positive pregnant. She was so happy. First thing she called me, and then she has a baby girl. And so she's so happy. She told me, she said, I know something happened in my in my uh, in my abdomen, <laughs> it's, uh, she not believe it. She couldn't believe it because she, she already forgot. She thought she can't have a baby, and she has uh, her baby girl very beautiful. And uh, after several years, she came back to my office and said uh, she want to have a second baby. I saw the little girl very pretty and uh, very smart. Every time she. Uh, she will come with her mother for uh, her mother come to me for acupuncture. Her mother will bring her. She's very quiet, cooperate and do her work, and then her mother get the treatment, and then I help her mother get a second baby because she wants a second. At the beginning, she thought have no hope, 
since she has a baby, she wants to try again. So I help her second baby. Her second baby is a baby boy. It's uh, so she's uh, very happy. I have uh, so many patients is coming from referral. I believe it. You know why? You, if you believe me, give a faith to, for me, and the spirit high, everything will help. And uh, I feel that way. I do not go to the street pulling patients, okay, come here for acupuncture. No. If you believe Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and then like me to help you, we work together. Otherwise, hard. The spirit is very important. It influences the physical body. And, uh, and another thing I like to see is uh, the spirit influences the physical body. This is the example. In the clinic, there's so many things. And uh, uh, like uh, I have uh, the baby boy last week. I have so many patients I couldn't remember. I only remember recently I saw. <laughs> I just make them go the, uh, the go away, focus on healing other patients. If you're always uh, sitting there thinking, you know, what did you do, good things, you have no time to healing other people. So I always release that and uh, move forward. Last week I have a, a patient, she, she has other health problem, but she was tired. I talked with her, why are you tired? She said she has a little boy. Every night, always wake up go to their room, her and her husband, not to have a good rest. And then also mad easily. I said, how old she is, four years old. And uh, she said, very tired, only one baby, feel like a hundred baby, feel so tired. Heart make him sleep longer, sleep a little bit, wake up and then interrupt the, her sleep to her and her husband's sleep too. And uh, the boy in the morning not eat. Not eat and then need to go to daycare. What, you know, there's a heart, the mother worry about her, him. And, uh, and uh, I said, it's easy to eat in the evening. No, picky. And this not eat, that not eat. And uh, very hard to feed him. And uh, it's very hard to get along with other children and frustrated easily. And uh, I said, is mad you too? Oh, mad, mad me, mad my husband too. And uh, I said, maybe try, uh, try acupuncture if you like. And she said, I won't talk to you about this. This is why reason I want my son try is can he get acupuncture? That's her question. She thought adult get acupuncture. She, she doesn't know children can get acupuncture too. So she talked to me. I said, no problem. I said, my youngest patient is 16 days old. <laughs> get the mother, take the basket, took the basket with, uh, took, took the baby with the basket to me, 16 years. I said, well, I'll try to help him. So he, uh, he visited me last uh, Friday, Friday, and I did acupuncture for him, no cry. I used my special technique so children, <laughs> it's uh, no pain, they not uh, feel nervous, very comfortable. And then I also check the time pulse, I feel like I need herb. Usually I'm not to give herb that very often until the patient really need it. So I think the herb, I tell how to take it, so that's a Friday. And uh, Saturday, I called, follow up, I called, because the children and the adult are different. Children get a problem. It's getting very quickly, and they get rid of it quickly. Their body changing quickly. So I, I concerned, so I called. If adult, you know, adult can call me, children too little, they not say anything. So I called the parent, I said, can you check your, your son to see he's okay? And the mother said, she, uh, 
and her husband very happy. And uh, because the boy slept the whole night, no crying. Also, we, we worry about the baby, it's four years old, not swallow the capsule. You know, the regular capsule is hard for four years old. Even though feeding him food is hard, the herb, there's no way hard. And it's amazing, the, the mother said, the baby boy eating the herb, swallow the herb, it's very easy, very corporate, so his personality changed. And, and uh, today, I, this morning, I called again and said, everything's okay. The mother said, oh, have another good night's sleep, no wake up, they are so happy. They are, and, uh, and the baby boy is, uh, is a personality change. You know, the spirits get at rest, and then the personality change. So now I want to talk with you the Chinese medicine think the shen and the, with the physical body relation. Another thing is shen, where they are located, where they stay. The shen is uh, stay in the brain and the heart. In Chinese medicine, we thinking we thinking the head and the heart together. Usually. Usually the shen is a stay in the brain and the heart. And if the, uh, the heart gets nourished, it's uh, through sleeping. So people sleeping very good make the spirit uh, resting, so second they will have a good spirit. So the heart is very important. Heart uh, is the house of the spirit. So how to make a heart? to get care. Heart, there's two kinds of uh, concept. One concept is the organ. Cut it, you can see it's a size like your hand, and it's red, a warm beating. Everybody's heart is a warm heart. Nobody's heart is cold. And uh, this heart, this is the organ. This is one concept. Another thing is the concept is, you know, the, the heart is uh, how you thinking. Like, uh, for example, like, okay, there's, uh, uh, there's a good place in China, Great Wall is beautiful. And then your heart already there. Truthfully, it's not a heart there, it's your mind is over there. So the mind, the heart is very active, can be positive, can be negative. And uh, like uh, the heart and the mind think, okay, that car is very beautiful, very expensive, very comfortable drive. I have no money, I need to get it. Okay, go to there to steal the car. So that's negative spirit direct you to steal the car. And then think nobody know that. Okay, one year not to know that. One day the policeman will find out the car, who's the owner. But meanwhile, that the person steals the car, you're thinking his heart can be peaceful? No, not peaceful. That's influenced that person's spirit too. And uh, he sleep or she or he will not see who is that person. That person sleep, they're not sleeping deeply. They sleep, but not deeply. Not deeply influence the people's spirit. When heart not get rest, influence the whole body circulation and cause a lot of problem. And also cause the heart disease. A heart disease, everybody know very quickly. It's not see doctor quickly and then get you will move to another world, not in this world. So the the spirit is very important. Keep a healthy, you know, positive spirit is very important. There's another thing: the spirit is if positive, like uh, oh, that person need help, we give that person's help. The the mind, the mind and the heart tell you, okay. We need to be kind of person to help that person. And then you helped, and then you feel very happy. 
your spirit get improved. Of course, the people get help. Well, appreciate your help. Maybe not immediately. Maybe later. Sometimes maybe next generation you don't know. In China, happened next generation. Okay, you helped my dad so many years ago, and then they appreciate to do something. There's another story I don't know. Uh, you heard about that or so not? There's a farmer in China save a turtle, save a turtle's life. So take the turtle back to nature world. And then many, many years later, and then turtle came back and visited him again. Usually we think they don't know, but uh, the spirit direct the animal find that person. And then you see the person get a happiness. The happiness keep people healthy too and uh, make a living happy longer. There's uh, so many, you know, stories and uh, happened in my office and uh, to teach me that the spirit, the physical body, they are related to each other. And uh, we talk about uh, the spirit and the body and uh, the, we know the relationship between spirit and body. The next thing we know, we should know what we should do in the real life. My suggestion is, if you keep a spirit high, healthy, positive, need learning. You're learning, you can take a lecture learning, or read a book learning, or watch a TV movie to learning, to make your spirit high. And, uh, and the spirits can make a body healthy. So you learning, you keep a good mind. In China, we see if you, the things is ugly, you know, you leave them far away, stay away from them. Uh, not only in the United States, I think the whole world, and the open the door, you will see everything, all different kind of things. Something you you maybe not like it, something you like it, something you don't like it, and then we are just a human being. We not have that high power to change the world immediately. Before you changing the world, what you should do is uh, you know either try be patient to you know, educate them. Another thing, stay away, keep your spirit high, right? If you have the power, you can change it, and then you go ahead to do it to change the world. If you, know, you not have the power, you just you know, stay away to look at the beautiful thing. The world is so huge, so large, and uh, this area not make you happy, and then you move to the other area. Find the you know, people you like together to keep you, you know, spirit high. And uh, we know the spirit high, keep a spirit high through the learning. And uh, I always believe is the knowledge is powerful. You have a good knowledge, you keep your spirit high. And in the old time, I remember uh, my great-grandmother, she not allowed to learning. At the old time, woman not learning. And, uh, but she loved uh, to hear people talking story. Her memory very good. He hear it, he remember. And uh, some things she still not understanding because she not work and not have knowledge, and uh, she not see a lot of things, something she couldn't figure out the problem. And uh, my teacher, like a new generation, can go to school for women, can go to school to learning. And then in the school, really, the teacher said, knowledge is a power. And the things I learned in the college, I feel like it's really different. You know, uh, learning a lot of knowledge and reading a lot of books is really make you inside wide, 
make you thinking, you know, widely. You have many ways can solve the problem, so you will be happy. When people mad, you know, spiritual, mad, frustrated, there's maybe a, a reason they mad themselves. Maybe they not find the solution to solve the problem, not control the kind of situation, so they are maybe mad or depressed easily. Uh, another thing I want to talk is uh, uh, to keep the health, the body healthy is important. No matter you believe what you believe. Like in China, a lot of people believe Buddha. And the teacher said, you want to spread Buddhism, you have to keep you healthy so you can have energy spread Buddha. And then you died, how you work for the Buddha. And the, for the church, too, if you not keep healthy, how you spread the, uh, God spirit to the people around you. No matter what, you want to do something uh, you like to do, you have to keep your body healthy. And uh, keep body healthy is, uh, there's many ways. The Chinese medicine is one of the way I really like. The reason is Chinese medicine not only treat the problem, like West medicine treat the problem, they have no solution for prevention, but Chinese medicine have the solution. Chinese medicine also think very important, prevent problem happen to you. Like right now, the season is uh, flu season. So the flu season, how you keep you healthy, not to get a flu easily. So Chinese medicine have a solution and to keep you healthy. We thinking uh, uh, the immunity is to take a very important rule. Your immunity is low. The virus, the flu virus, go into your body easily. And uh, the body, you know, get attacked easily. Or another uh, condition is that the people already get a flu uh, virus. If you're healthy, strong, so you can recover. Some people not recover because their body is not that healthy, weaker. Like uh, the people died from, no matter from the flu or from the swan flu, you check they, may, they have some like uh, history of you know, chronic health problem, like children, little children. Children immunity is low, so a lot of children get sick every year easily. That's why uh, the CDC suggests give children that uh, vaccine, the swine flu vaccine, to help them not to get the flu. But uh, for this country, is a free, free country, you have a solution. If you want to, don't want to get the vaccine, or you not have a chance to get a vaccine, you, sh you also have a solution. Chinese medicine help you. And some people ask me, do you have a herb to help the, uh, the flu or swine flu? I said it's not like a common herb, take everything, it has depending on your body. There's uh, information said there's a herb, it's uh, the first letter, is A, I don't know how to say that in English, August? Uh, uh, not Aganesha, there's, uh, it's, uh, uh, there's a, that's a herb, it's a strength and the defense chi, there's no questions. It's the first letter, it's A U. Yeah, yeah, that's the word. Uh huh. Can, uh, yeah, I hardly repeat, even though I, I know that is a herb. That herb is depending on your condition. It's, that's the uh, body, is how to, according to, dip, uh, how to, uh, depending on the condition. The body condition, there's the main thing is yin and yang. Have you heard about yin and yang? Yin and yang. Yin and yang, yin symbol is water, yang symbol is fire. Man is yang, woman is yin. The simple way to remember is 
Yin is woman water. You see, woman like uh, crying, but not everybody. <laughs> I just help you easy remember. Yang is a fire, like man mad easily. You know, just help you remember yin the yang. Yin and yang have to be balanced. Yin and yang not a ba yin and yang balance. People not get sick easily, healthy. Yin and yang not a balance. People get sick. Uh, like a, that's a herb you mentioned that herb. If the yin yang not balance, yang is low. You take that herb, it's okay. Can help you know, uh, defense chi up and uh, stay away from avoid uh, swine flu virus. If you already yang is high, yin is low. You have to think about another thing to help it. So that's why when people ask me, what kind of herb you recommend? I said, I have not recommend any herb and teas until you get, you know, checked by a Chinese medicine doctor to, uh, to see which one is correct. Truthfully, Chinese medicine is to help you go through the, this season safely. It's to help you in yang balance. Yin is low, you see. You form internal heat easily. The heat is tracking this virus. Heat, you, you think about the inflammation. If somebody has inflammation, get a fever, the heat. So the f internal heat is tracking the virus. You get the virus easily. Why children get the virus easily? Because the children's body is a pure young body. They're not developed well yet. The yang is very high, so they're tracking virus easily. When the children go to like a teenagers old, for uh, you know about like 18 years old boys and the girl, they are you know half of the period, half of, you know the uh, you know the body formed easily, uh, formed uh, completely, so they get to the age get married. And then when people, you know, around the 25 years to 35 years this, uh, this period, in young, more balance. You see, very easy, uh, not very easy to get sick. So you see the uh, medical insurance company, they charge them very low too, because they know they're not getting sick easily. In young, develop very good. After 35 years old, men and women, no matter who, it's yin and yang, not a balance. And uh, uh, people know women get a menopause easily, but they're not talking men get a menopause either, uh, not get a menopause. Truthfully, men too, women get a menopause around the, uh, 45 to 55 this period. Men is from 55 years old to 65 years old this time. You think about, you see, how your mother, the mood changing at what time, and just think about your dad. And the, probably when he around the 60 year old, you're probably thinking he changed his personality. Not changing personality, his physical body changed, how his spirit changing too. And I don't know you pay attention to or not. You know, some people run after, uh, after 50, 60 years old, there's, you know, like a behavior like a child because the physical body changed and then the spirit changed too and the personality changed too. So how you keep you, uh, uh, you know, healthy, balanced, good spirit is, you know, learning and then do exercise and, uh, you know, uh, exercise, so many exercise. I divided exercise as two kind, yin and yang exercise. Yin exercise is low intensity exercise, like a slow, like a walk. If you slow walk, that's yin exercise. Yang exercise is high intensity exercise, like a fast walk. That is yang. And uh, for you keep you body balance, so you need to do yin and yang exercise both to help a balance. 
And different people are different. Some people yin energy low, so you need to do more yin exercise. Some people yang energy low, you need to do yang exercise. So from today you know, do exercise is uh, needed to divide the yin and yang and do correctly. Your body healthy, strong balance, so your spirit well, you know, healthy, high. And then you will be happy every day. Uh, another thing usually people call me said, I have no problem, very healthy. Do I need acupuncture? I said, uh, yes. Acupuncture not only treat the pain problem, acupuncture help people expand your life and make you more healthy. And uh, when you're 90 years old, you feel like uh, 50 years old, 20 years old. That can be happened. And uh, in China, we have uh, many people. It's not to uh, see Chinese medicine doctor only for sickness. They just for, you know, well-being, uh, for healthy, you know, keep healthy. I would like everybody is you know, uh, you know, healthy, not to come here for a problem. I don't mind if you have a problem, need help. I'll be happy to help everybody. But uh, you know, I'll be happy, you know, to teach you and also to guide you to keep yourself healthy. When you're healthy, you come here just to feel. Uh, balance, learning these things to help you balance, and that's to keep your body balanced and also keep your spirits uh, high and healthy. And uh, I talk uh, uh, from beginning to now, and I think I leave this some time to everybody if you have some question to uh, talk to me. I have a card I put on the back, my business card. I writing something about uh, how to pass uh, the flu season, this season, safely. And uh, I write an article on this magazine for many years, so probably from their beginning. I put article on, at the beginning, my, uh, my article in my office. And uh, the editor said, do you want to put your article on this magazine? I said, my English is not good. My patient read it and not laughing at me. If we put it on here, I don't know who read it. <laughs> and so, oh, turn this. And uh, I said, you put it on here, probably more people see. I don't know who will see. They were laughing at me, my English. So the editor said, oh, I'll help you English. So from that time I put my article on here. It's on, on this uh, column. It's the hell, uh, healing art. Healing art. And uh, every month I write article. Uh, oh, that's a new one. This is an older one. Okay, this is a new one. Uh -huh. Every month on the healing art. And this is a new one. Uh, I write it. So Sometimes according to the season, I write in how you take care of yourself not getting sick. And sometimes according to the patient as a question, I write in on it. If you have some requirement of what, what like to know, Chinese medicine, acupuncture can help, and you can let me know. I'll be happy to write in that thing about it. And right now, every month I write it, I'm not feel difficult. I feel very easy to write before, like I have to finish the homework. I have to <laughs> give the article on time and finish homework. And uh, I realized before the editor called me often because they don't understand my English, what this meaning, so they can write in a correct way, American way. I, right now, I feel they not call me that often, <laughs> ask me questions. Probably my English improved too. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you like, uh, you can read this, uh, my article every month on, on this magazine. And uh, thank you so much, and uh, be patient, listen to me. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Thank you. I'd like to bring your attention uh, to the fact that Dr. Lee has an office, has an office in this building on the second floor. And I'd, I'd like to get your phone number, uh, if I might.
What is your phone number? Uh, it's a 404. Two five zero nine nine zero three. I have a website. You want to write down my website? Yes, please. It's you it's www. That A A C two zero 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 dot com. Is anybody have a questions? Okay. When a new patient comes to you, mm -hmm. what, uh, what do you do to kind of analyze what they need? Do you uh, just look at them and are able to... Okay, that's a, uh, I understand you want to know how I see patient first for the first time. Okay. Uh, when I see patient first time, I need to review their medical history. If they have a blood test or uh, x-ray or anything, and bring with you, and I need to review that. Also, I need to review the patient's family history. How's your daddy? Uh, how's your mom? Their medical uh, history, I need to review that too. And then I have a question to ask. And also, patient have a chance to tell me what their complaints, how they feel. And then I'll ask them my questions according to their complaints. And then I'll check a ton of pulse and then to put all these information in my mind to analyze and then to to decide what I sh need to do to help the patient and uh, of course look at the patients uh, give me the information too uh, like I have a patient coming and the hair no style and uh, and uh, even though put makeup is not that you know bright and uh, the clothes is not to uh, pay attention, just the same not feeling good. After several times, I see he face, the spirit can tell it, and he take care of his hair, and then dress up every time change the clothes. His spirit high, he, she has the, uh, you know, the feeling, the mood, changing the clothes. That's a different changing. And the, when people come and talk to me, their tones, the way they talk and uh, speak fast or slow, anything, that uh, can tell too. Like uh, uh, after treatment, I told them, I said, I can change that person's personality. I have a patient with me over 10 years. He dating over 10 years with that lady. Uh, they fighting, get together, and f part and together over 10 years. and. Uh, I try to help him balance it, and then he get married. He said the Chinese medicine to help him to get a family. <laughs> not that he is not a bad person, he just not a good mood. But you see, which lady want to stay with a man that with a bad mood, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Did I answer your question? Uh -huh. Oh, there's another thing, tongue. I need to check the tongue, people's tongue. Some people clean the tongue, that's not correct thing to do need to leave an original town and then to uh, you clean and then they come came they will come back and uh, but uh, you clean you see me I couldn't see the real tongue so that's it can give me wrong information the tongue is to show me a lot of things inside so not to eat to drink and color food mm -hmm. okay you said uh, something about preventative mm -hmm. uh, medicine how often would someone have to visit you in order to retain good health? Uh, that's easy to answer and hard to answer too. And uh, depending on some people, like in the office, some people see me four times a year and see me every ch seasoning change and see me. Some people see me once a year 
Uh, some people see me every every month, once a month. They are depending their you know the condition. Like people were stressful, they have no problem. They don't want to get sick. This they maybe see me once a month or maybe twice a month. Some people is have a very good life. They only see me for prevention. Every seasoning change, so see me four times a year. So different. And if you're not sure, and you can you know talk to me. If you sure, so you just depending on your condition. If you're very stressful, you see me a little bit often. If not stressful, maybe see me. Some people see me every other month for prevention, just getting balance. Some people see me, you know, not complain sleep, but everybody tell me, oh, I must sleep better. Sleep very powerful. And uh, the CDC mentioned uh, go through this uh, flu season safely, get a vaccine, and then washing hands often, and then sleeping good, sleeping enough and good. Sleep is very important. Make your immunity system high. Everybody sleep, but some people sleep not deeper. Quality is not good. Everybody sleep, I believe, but not some people not deeper enough. But acupuncture do make it sleep deeper. I have a patient. Her yin is low. Yin is low for me internal heat. She looks like I have energy. And how to say energetic, right? And it looks like, but she hardly slow down. She talk, talk, talk. When I put a needle, talk, and then I, I select the the point. I put it on, and then she stop talk, and then she follows the lead on table. Uh huh. No, like a weekend, like in this room, I can tell you not uncontrolled to talk. Some people talk, 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 couldn't stop. I take a blood pressure. I said we no talk when I take a blood pressure. When you talk, your blood pressure, you know, changing. I said when I take it, don't no talk, not ask me question. We can ask later, okay? And then couldn't stop. And still ask me question or talk. And then when I do it. And then she, she not talk. Usually, women like to talk, right? <laughs> we are very good on communication. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. yeah. Did I answer your question? You did. Thank mm-hmm. you. Any other questions? One one second. I'll give you. What's the difference between Shen and Qi? Qi and Shen. Okay, that's a good question. You see, this is word Shen. Qi is this way. Qi, in Chinese word, this part, the outside this part means air. You know the air, that, and the inside this part. Is uh, rice. You know, Chinese people love rice, so they make a word is with rice too. <laughs> rice. That means you eat the food, and then to get the energy, the qi. Qi is a vital energy. It's a life force. So you have to eat, and then to get the energy, vital energy. Energy and the shen, shen is the spirit. They are influence each other. They are not just the same thing. I give the name. Is this thing is called the material? You know, the things, the materials kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And this is like a spirit. You you couldn't sit, touch it. You couldn't buy it. You can feel it. Nobody sell. Nobody shall. This is you know spirits, right? And you have to maintain yourself. Do exercise, take a class, go to church, go to temple, make your spirit high, right? And this you can go to the market to guide it, and then get the food to eat, and then you get you know energy. So that, but they influence each other. If you energy is up, a tree is up.
chi is up, that's to help you spirit up. Like uh, the chi is the basement of the spirit. It's the base of the spirit. But uh, if you have no spirit, you not taste the food very good. You will ask me why I eat. When your spirit high, okay, I eat. I need to help people. I need to healing people. I eat, okay, I need to teach children in the school. I eat, okay, I need to go to store to work to sell people. People want to buy stuff. I need to work over there to sell, sell things, right? When, since you have a spirit, so make you get a chi more meaningful. Did I answer your questions? Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? You said something earlier about you, you help that fellow to gain weight. Uh, who was very skinny. Mm -hmm. What about a person who is overweight? Can you help them to lose weight by acupuncture? Yes. And uh, I look at people who uh, have a weight problem. Uh, it's not uh, simply taking pills, losing weight. I think more than that. People gain weight. First thing, you think that they are not a balance. Second, we have to analyze what causes people gain weight. We treat from the cost. Some people have a steroid problem. That's very common in the United States. You know why? Sweet food. The sweet diet, not only our generation, our parents. So we blame our parents. Our parents eat too many sweet chocolates, candy, and the grandparents, they do too. Sugar? Mm -hmm. You know why? Sugar is go through your liver, your pancreas, and then influence your body, you know, the chemical balance. Influence the uh, spleen's function. You eat more sugar, you get energy, and make your spleen, pancreas, liver more tired, and then you feel tired easily. Like, uh, you know, cigarette too. Cigarette give you energy, but they only last for 10, 5 minutes, right? I'm not a smoker. I never smoke. I try to smoke, but I have no feeling. So I make an interview. I help people stop smoking. And then I ask them, why are you smoking? I couldn't believe it. I don't understand it. Why you not stop smoking? I say, how, why you, how do you feel when you smoke? Lots of answer. I realize that smoking really gives people energy. You see, after eating, they smoke. Why? Because the blood go to the stomach, digest the food. Here, a lot short of blood, they feel sleepy. So give a cigarette, and then they have energy. They wake up, they feel good. And the weight, I haven't f finished your question. The weight, eating sugar, people, the thyroid function low. Some people born with the thyroid energy low. That's why I make a joke. I say, blame your parents, blame our parents, right? And uh, they, they are, you know, you, that's why I check a family history. You know, parents have the, the problem, thyroid problem. So the thyroid have a problem. People gain weight easily, gain energy very difficult. They feel tired, and they force themselves to, to, to function the, every day. So that's why we need to strengthen the thyroid energy. And through the needle, acupuncture, diet, exercise, and together, sometimes we need West medicine together to help. That's the way you help them losing weight. They not gain weight crazy later. Like a pills you see in the clinic, they take a pills to losing. When they stop, they worse. There's another way people gain weight is their family. They have a history. The family has a history. And then that is the way you have to change in the organs. You know, the organs, the not to function good. They not, uh, you know, to observing food good. People eat a lot. They're hungry. They have a big appetite. They never feel full. Eat, eat, eat. So we have to make a every organ to, you know, energy go up. There's another thing, people have a mentally problem, spirit not correct, not a balance. They are stressed. They are not eat for your body need, they eat for relax. So that's what we need 
to healing the spirit. And uh, so to get rid of stress, so people not to put food in the body. Uh, there are so many, there's the other health problem, like uh, people taking certain medication, gain weight, so we can have to make a plan to see how to use the natural way, acupuncture and the Chinese herb to help diet, exercise, to take the medicine little by little off, and then that's help people losing weight. And there's so many other reasons. We have to find out what the reason causes to gain weight and then make a plan for individual, each people. Mm -hmm. And do you have any other questions? Uh, uh, what, what oh, hold on what one second. Influence <laughs> <laughs> what influence does having eating a lot of sugar have on the thyroid? Is there a feedback? Oh, okay. Uh, the why do eat sugar influence the uh, thyroid? Uh, the sugar is a different. Uh, in China and the in United States. I heard uh, as a doctor, I asked a question, there's a doctor told me, in this, this is politics a problem, not to, you know, we can handle. Many years ago, in the Cuba give uh, the sugar, that's natural sugar, and to eat, and uh, not as a problem. Since the sugar use here, since uh, Cuba not to give sugar here, and then so the people use uh, what kind of sugar? It's a uh, corn, corn sugar, sugar from corn, sweet corn. That kind of sugar, fat is higher, higher. So that the high fat influence the liver function and influence the uh, pancreas function. Pancreas and the thyroid, they are connected. The sugar, like a Alcohol, the same thing. Some people tolerate alcohol, no problem. They drink it, they not uh, have a mental problem, they function correctly, and they're not drunk. And some people drink a little bit, they can drunk. So the sugar, some people eat, no problem. Some people eat, gain weight. We make a research in China. Some people uh, make a... Uh, not some people, uh, the, some uh, duck and some rabbit. So they feed a rabbit, the duck, the same food. High, uh, you know, the egg, milk, cheese, uh, butter, to feed the, the same food for these two group of animals. And they find the duck has no problem, and that the rabbit, has a heart problem, high blood pressure problem, couldn't tolerate that kind of food. So we, we have a, a joke in, in China, said, are you duck or you are rabbit? If you rabbit, you have to eat healthy, <laughs> eat uh, uh, vegetables more. <laughs> if you duck, okay. <laughs> so that sugar do the same thing. It's not everybody eat sugar, gain weight, no. And uh, if you, body can tolerate, that's fine. Sugar is, nour is nutrition nourishing your liver, but if you couldn't tolerate, you eat, it really make a, you gain weight. Mm -hmm. Do I answer your question? Indirectly, yes. Indirectly. <laughs> is there um, a relationship also between blood type and like you were talking about the rabbit and the duck, mm -hmm. but is there a blood type difference in terms of what people can eat? Have you? Yeah, there's a book, uh, Eat According to uh, the Blood really, Type. Yeah. I tell you my about opinion about the book. That's a really, really wonderful book. It uh, can be a reference f uh, for us doing when we select a food. It's yeah. wonderful. But there's a one thing you need to pay attention. The f you you blood type different, okay? That's uh, you eat according to the uh, suggested. Also, you need to consider where you are located. For example, if you type O, you know you need to eat more meat, right? They are very lucky eat more meat. <laughs> <laughs> but in 
New York in north is cold, okay, you eat more meat. But in the south, in Florida, in Georgia, you better think about eat some vegetable too. Because here very heat. Meat have a high heat. In the north, you eat meat to help you defend the cold weather, keep you warm. And the south uh, different already heat. If you eat uh, lots of meat, no vegetables, that can poisoning in your body. Unbalance. Unbalance, yeah. Type A, type A is should eat vegetarian. Right. Yeah, that's kind of type of uh, blood. But in the south, it's okay. If you go to the north, I suggest you eat a little bit of meat to keep you warm. Otherwise, you frozen. Right, so that's a, have to consider where you are. Right. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, and also consider what kind of work you do. And if you do a lot of physical work, you need nutrition, so you, you know, eat you know more than they suggest you to eat. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do I answer your question? Yes, thank okay. You. Mm hmm. Any other questions? Okay, thank you so much. All right, thank you, Dr. Lee. <laughs> I may be answered that's not correct because that's my own opinion. So for uh, this year's work, I feel, you know, how i thinking uh, this answer. And uh, if you have a correct other information, I, I don't mind to hear it. And uh, uh, if you have any question, you can call me and email to me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Lee. <laughs>